All right, starting the reassembly process. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the magnet to the bottom of the gearbox. Now that I've cleaned the surface, I'm going to use this JB Weld epoxy. And I'm gonna do it on this too, just to make sure we don't lose this. Now I'm gonna punch that. There we go, perfect. And our PTO bolt I've already got over here looks uh, moderately clean. I'm gonna put some thread sealant on it. Boom. And we're gonna send send it on its way. Okay, 14 millimeter. Thirty six foot pounds. All right, I've got the box on the press. Uh, I've got my closed in John Cup needle roller bearing uh, here, and I'm going to uh, grab my uh, sealant and then install. I've got it pressed in, as you can see, I've got it sealed up. I'm using this Permatex Aviation Forma Gasket Sealant Liquid, so that's uh, what I put around the outside and that's what you see there. All right, so here's my countershaft bearing retainer. Here's my open end cage needle roller bearing. This is the old one. And here's my new open end cage needle roller bearing. All right, I'm gonna take my washer. You can see there's two tangs that that stick up and I'm gonna put them in the grooves around the bearing. Let's see. There we go. We're in there. Got my new washer. We're just gonna go 
in here and my new bearing. One thing I'll say about the countershaft installation is um, it's super helpful to have the PTO cover um, removed so that you can put your hand through and, and work it through. That's something that I haven't seen mentioned uh, anywhere, but, um, but definitely uh, was helpful. All right, let's start the main shaft uh, assembly process. And uh, this is gonna start with second gear. So here's second gear with the holes, uh, which my synchro fits into. I've got the second gear on here with the second gear synchro spring and the second gear synchronizer. Um, the second gear synchronizer and the second gear synchronizer spring are held in place um, with these three posts and this tanged ring that fits in to a slot on the inside of these three posts and holds the gear uh, and this synchronizer in place. All right, I've uh, reoriented the main shaft just to make it easier for you guys watching. Um, so the front of the transmission is is this. Uh, the front of the vehicle is would be would be uh, pointed this direction to my right, uh, and the front of this main shaft is is now also uh, you know aligned with this gearbox. So uh, I'm now going to start on third gear, um, which is this. Um, I've gone ahead and I've installed uh, two shims. I've just slid them over uh, the clutch teeth right here. And so now I'm just going to slide this on. Like so. Now I'm going to install the third, fourth synchronizer assembly, uh, which is right here. Um, earlier NP435s used a synchro assembly with separate rings. Um, later versions used a single um, uh, assembly with both rings attached. Um, so that's what this is. These plates are interchangeable. Um, I've seen actually a teardown on YouTube of an NP435 where the guy says uh, that's not the case. These are interchangeable, so don't worry about that. Um, you don't need to mark these when you take them off the transmission. They even have the same part number. So don't worry about getting these mix matched. They're the exact same. So now I'm going to slide the third, fourth gear synchronizer hub onto the main shaft. And you want to make sure to do this with the oil slots faced rearward. And these right here are the oil slots. So I'm going to slide this on like so. Now I'm going to slide my synchronizer assembly onto the main hub. So now I'm going to slide this sandwich on. Like so. I've got my uh, bearing sitting in the end of the synchro assembly. And now's the time to check in play.
So make sure everything's seated in your assembly and take your feeler gauges and see where you're going to shake out. Let's see, here's 0.075. This would be out of spec if this can work. And that that is fitting. So this is out of spec. This is too this is too sloppy. There's too much in play in this whole assembly. All right, well, I'm gonna hit up Novak and ask him for more shims. I'll bring you back um, when I get them in the mail.